Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Rafael and thank you for watching today's video and today I will go over the only red build you will ever need to learn about in case you're a new player or a returning player. You, after this video you will not need to watch another Division 2 video about the red build or the best red build or the best DPS build or anything like that. Back when Warlords of New York first came out everybody was running this, this was the meta. Now as time moves forward we have a lot of status effect build with a scorpion and memento we have a lot of uh skill builds that a lot of people are playing and red builds uh, are still very common when it comes to solo playing but when you join a group you don't see them that often so a lot of people have questions about them a lot of new players don't really know how they work so yeah here it is what you need to know is that with this build over here you will have exactly 60 percent critical hit chance 196% critical hit damage that can go all the way up to 236% if you're using the killer talent on your weapon but in order to get those numbers I'm getting those numbers from of course my rolls on my pieces but also from my SHD watch my SHD watch is maxed out and I'm getting from it 10% critical hit chance 10% critical hit damage and 10% weapon damage. For those of you who want to know what specialization I'm using, I'm going with the Demolitionist, but you can go with the Gunner as well. I think both of them are pretty good. The big difference between them is that Gunner, every time you take a kill, it will give you 10% of your armor back, but the Demolitionist, you can ignore one explosive attack on you every 60 seconds. Remember to put Assault Rifle damage, and rifle damage on your specialization tree if you're going to be using the weapons that I'm going to be using as well because we get another 15% increased damage from these two talents. So I'm going to start with the weapons of my choice because I don't think that you have to go use these weapons necessarily. You can use any assault rifle you, you prefer to be honest. Just make sure that you have damage targets out of cover as your attribute and as your talents you have either killer strained or optimist those are the three best talents when it comes to your damage boost you also need to remember that the higher the rpm a weapon has the lower the base damage it will be as you can see here my police m4 has 850 rpm and a total of 100k damage but my file over here has 650 rpm 200 rounds less per minute than the police m4 but it has 30k higher damage. If we check the attachments that I have on my police M4, I have 5% critical hit damage on my sight, 5% critical hit damage on my sword grip, and another 5% critical hit damage on my muzzle attachment. Moving on to the secondary, I'm using the classic M1A, probably the best rifle in the game, and a lot of people argued back when Warlords of New York came out that it was the best weapon in the game as well. As you can see here, Again, get talents to, other, to targets out of cover, and as my talents, I'm using the boomerang. Now, moving on to the interesting part, I'm using one Seska Viroba for the 10% critical hit chance, three Provody defense pieces for the headshot damage, critical hit chance, and the critical hit damage bonus that we get from it, one group of Sombra for the 15% critical hit damage, and last but not least, we have the Fox sprays for my knee pads which gives me 8% damage targets out of cover and also 10% rifle damage in case we want to switch from our assault rifle to our rifle. As you can see, all my core attributes are maxed out weapon damage. And all the rest of my attributes are maxed out critical hit suns and critical hit damage. What's so good about this build is the fact that you get your 60% critical hit suns from your SHD watch from the brand set bonus and from your attributes which means that the three remaining mod slots you can use all of them for critical hit damage as you can see I have three critical hit damage mods all of them are 11.7%
Last but not least, we have the talents. When it comes to the backpack, I would recommend you to go with a gift backpack which gives you the perfect vigilance. Increases total weapon damage by 25%, checking damage disables this buff for 3 seconds. If you cannot find the gift backpack, you can always use a normal Providence Defense backpack with a vigilance talent. Keep in mind though, that the perfect vigilance has 1 second less cooldown than the normal vigilance. Perfect Vigilance has 3 seconds, and Normal Vigilance has 4 seconds. On the chest piece you have two options. The first one is to go with the Obliterate. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 5 seconds. Stacks up to 25 times, which means that we will be getting 25% extra weapon damage. However, you don't have that damage boost, that 25% damage boost right away when you start a fight. If you want to get the damage boost as soon as you start the fight, then you should go with Glass Cannon. You can either use a normal Provident Defense backpack with Glass Cannon on it, which will amplify your weapon damage by 25%, but it will also increase all the damage you take by 50%, or you could use the Sacrifice piece, which gives you the perfect Glass Cannon talent. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%, all damage you take is amplified by 60%. The perfect glass cannon, of course, it will give you 5% more weapon damage than the obliterate. However, it will reduce your survivability by a lot since you will be taking 60% amplified damage from every source. So when it comes to actual numbers, the sacrifice chest piece with perfect glass cannon will offer the highest damage in the game from every other chest piece talent for red builds, of course. However, the Obliterate talent, even though it gives you 5% less weapon damage and it doesn't, and it takes some time to stack up, it will not compromise your survivability. In case you don't mind getting hit hard, in case you're a player who is comfortable enough using the perfect glass cannon, go for it. Otherwise, if you're not so certain that you will be able to survive, make sure to go with the Obliterate. And when you get a little bit more experience and when you get a little bit more comfortable, you can change to the perfect glass cannon. So that's it, everybody. This is the best red build that you can get. Obviously, it's more than enough for you to get accepted into every group when it comes to the Dark Hours raid. For the Dark Hours raid, most of the groups you will try to join will ask to have 50% critical hit chance and 140% critical hit damage. Obviously, this build covers all of that and you will be accepted very easily. You will also be able to do tons of damage both when you play solo but also in a group. I will make sure to have some gameplay in the background both from when I'm playing solo but also from when I'm playing in a group just for you to see how this build performs. Thank you for watching the video, I hope that you find it helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and to subscribe for more content, I really appreciate it and it really helps the channel a lot. Have a wonderful day, bye bye.